Alcaraz has thrilled crowds. He's thrilled us. He's just been awesome to watch. Ran up against Yannick Sinner, who has been tough with him. I mean, we cannot forget that U.S. Open meeting they had last year that was an absolute epic. This one had shades of that one and it threw in a little extra wrinkle with the physical issues that both of them felt. Sinner in the second set, stretching his left leg. We were wondering, is that injury? Is it cramp? And the next thing you know, Alcaraz has got a, a problem with his left hand, can't hit a two-handed backhand, and then the cramps come straight when he comes back from changing his kit. Very fun to watch this match. Probably less fun for Carlos to feel what he felt, but it was a thrill ride, and, and it usually is when these two guys uh, engage on the court. We are lucky as fans to have that to continue to look forward to. Yeah, I was going to say, we are lucky, aren't we? I mean, we were all sort of heading towards the fact that we thought there was going to be this vacuum as the big four were sort of raging against the light in their respective careers. And yet here we have already a, a couple of players here that uh, elevated our perspective of the sport. The way they move at the back of the court yeah. seems to be better than even the big four. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't Novak's know. Novak's probably that, I, still. Yeah, yeah. I, I got to keep Novak yeah. in that conversation. I think we should. But i um, looking forward to seeing Novak engage with this yes. younger generation as they've improved. Novak hasn't given any ground. He just hasn't been able to gain access to all the grounds around the world with his lack of vaccination. So that will change now. This should be the last tournament, hopefully forever, that, uh, that these players will not be able to meet for, for those types of reasons. So the European clay swing is coming. Looking forward to that and seeing Novak and hopefully Rafa back in there with this young pack that are, are really, they're setting the stage for some great tennis ahead, even when those guys are gone. Absolutely. Sporting immortality, we think we've seen, but of course uh, it always changes, doesn't it? The one thing that hasn't changed is the head head record for Yannick Sinner against mm -hmm. Daniel Medvedev at the moment. He's still yet to get out of the starting blocks. Medvedev 5-0 and against Sinner. They've always played with a roof over their heads, though. Yeah, and, and that may make the difference. I mean, obviously, Medvedev with his first serve is, is a beast. And indoors, that first serve is in a controlled environment. It can be more effective than outside when you have the sun, which at 1 o'clock uh, the players will have to deal with for at least 15 or 20 minutes. Medvedev has struggled with that at times. His second serve has not been great this tournament, to be honest. That was a problem Alcaraz had. He had more double faults in this match than he ever has in any match. And part of that due to the lack of the legs there for a little while. But uh, look, since also is such a threat with his return to serve and uh, you were rightfully pointing out that a lot of those double faults were forced errors because he was trying to, to prevent center from attacking it Medvedev will also have to think his way around what centers bring into the table center is going to be fresh he's going to be ready he's going to have that day off tomorrow to, to get set and um, boy I, I liked a lot of what I saw with his serve tonight we talked a lot about the need for that changed motion and all that to start to be a little bit more precise and higher first serve percentage Boy, did he deliver with that tonight. Yep, it's not just about hard work, it's about smart work as well. And we're certainly seeing that from, obviously, Yannick Sinner, but we've seen it from Daniel Medvedev as well. He's made a few subtle changes and they've made some significant differences and, and the confidence is just flowing for Medvedev. Yeah, it really is Medvedev. This, Rotterdam, when they last met, was th the beginning of Medvedev's resurgence. That was the first tournament that he would win for three in a row, then he makes the final in Indian Wells where Alcaraz takes him out pretty easily. Then he's comfortably back in the final here again. One change that Medvedev made in the offseason uh, was he changed his string. He went from a little firmer uh, poly string to a softer string, which gives him a little bit more power, takes a little bit of the load off of his arm and his body, and he's made a quick adjustment to that, and that seems to be working out quite nicely for him. Yep, it certainly has been working out very nicely for him. You've had a, a good long day here, Jim, with the uh, medvedev hashinov match earlier today. Thanks for your company once again through that Pleasure. contest tonight. It was absolutely super to hear what you had to say and pick apart and dissect what was happening in front of us in double quick time.